Hey, GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report. We're still here at Fire Expo 2021 in Immokalee, Florida at Force Center. You can find them at Force Center USA. Really neat facility. So now we've already had an overview of Maxim Defense. Uh, go watch that if you haven't yet. We've had an introduction to the uh, MDX line. So now we're gonna get a little bit more specific and go to the brand new PDX and 300 Blackout. And CJ is gonna help us understand some of the uh, design philosophy, some of the challenges they overcame, and maybe even some use cases that were behind the creation of this firearm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, and I'll kind of work backwards from that, taking back from the, the mill experience and everything else, and then additionally training law enforcement, you know, there's there's really a, a hole in the market of calibers, size of weapons, concealability versus low vis, and but being able to have the firepower that you need. So that really came out of a lot of my experience and a lot of my team's experience. And then, you know, trying to move within tight spaces and confined mm -hmm. vehicles right. uh, and having that long barrel. And, and it can really take a lot of extra time to get in and out of vehicles. And, um, you know, so that's kind of the, the genesis of, of that for at least my part and several right. of the guys on my team. Um, when we get down to design, uh, one of the things, you know, this is a beautiful gun and I've got to, I got to say where one of my partners, Michael, who started the company, uh, has a very, very fine taste of what right looks like, yeah, yeah. you know, and then the rest of it was, all right, let's get the guts running correctly. Right. right? And so it took us quite a while to get the 300 blackout guts running properly because the way we approached that was completely different than everyone else. And I can't tell you how many revisions we did, but what I didn't want to do is sitting in your last concealed cover position mm -hmm. and then you're getting ready to go to breach or you're getting ready to function a mission set and you're like, hmm, did I do this? What? What was my setting on? Oh, well, yeah. I guess we'll figure it out, right? Yeah. So if we could take that uh, piece of it out, Jeff. Yeah. And yeah. so the way we did that, there's there's several different companies, a litany of them throughout the industry that make adjustable gas walks. Sure. You know, uh, they've been around for quite a while. But again, that's one of those things, did I set it to supers or did I set it to subs? Right. You know, and so... We worked really hard on the design aspect of it to where we took that element of questioning out. You know? And that's important because while you sell to the consumer market, this is targeted at people who, you know, they, they need it to work because their life depends on it, right? Yeah. Uh, the way I look at it is, is for us, it's, it's a solution. Mm -hmm. People buy solutions. Some people buy Gucci stuff, but... If it, if it fills a solution, yeah. if our capability fills a solution, then absolutely. So that's really where we drive it. So what we've done in the gassing is, uh, certainly with our ammo and a few others, you can start your magazine out with two subsonic. Mm -hmm. And once you get through those two subsonic rounds, you have your supers loaded underneath that. It's not if you're going to get compromised, it's when. Mm -hmm. You know, compromise always happens. Yeah. Um, and so that's at least one thought process you could run, whether you had a magazine full of subs and then switch over another magazine to supers. Mm -hmm. There's no other type of functionality that you have to mess with in the gas block. Right. So. Yeah, less moving parts, less things to remember. Yeah, yeah. and we do a full DI system. Mm -hmm. So we stay away from op rods. Uh, you know, we took the basis of uh, the H and K height here, so you get a little bit extra room okay. for your gassing, which mm -hmm. which we needed. So, uh, and this this is just the new color, uh, urban gray, and it's just really beautiful. Uh, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. But then on the back side, you know, we were able to get super super short. Uh, the the extension's only four inches of the tube. Yeah. And mm -hmm. honestly, that's because of what we did into 
the bulk carrier group. I might as well just pop this open. And so, for those of you, if you haven't seen it, we truncated the BCG. Oh, wow. And we set the buffer inside. We yeah. added and raised some metal for anti-tilt because now you're changing your, your cycling. Um, and, you know, this took a long time to, to function as well and get right. Uh, and we test everything all the way down to the uh, uh, SOCOM weapons reliability tables. So we burn these things down uh, because ultimately that's what they may run into. Right. And, we, and, and I don't feel comfortable without having that knowing that it will actually function properly. So, so that's kind of a little bit about the guts in it. Um, and then paired with, there's a couple different site manufacturers out there that have dual dots now. Right. Uh, we happen to have an EOTech on this one and Aimpoint has one as well. Uh, and we've worked with both companies to function that forward. Nice. Uh, because, you know, at 100 meters between supers and subs, you have anywhere from an 18 to 22 inch drop. Yeah. So, you know, pulling a hold over for that probably, uh, yeah, I know some guys that can do it, yeah. um, but if you can have those already zeroed and you know whether yep, you're shoot, yep. shooting supers or subs. So that's kind of the thought process behind it. And we also tested a, a whole lot in the suppressors. So the hate brakes, uh, which are on the front end of these, right. those are based off the crank off design. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> there's no baffles in it or anything like that. And it's a muzzle booster, honestly. And what that does is allows the dwell time for the DI impingement. Mm -hmm. So we designed the hate break in conjunction to, to also really have about the same back pressure as a suppressor. Hmm. So what you get out of that, nice. and there's only very few certified suppressor companies, actually one, uh, CGS Helios QD, um, and they've certified it, our, our guns in their manual, and they warranty it and oh, nice. uh, nobody else has come to the table and put that out. I can't certify a suppressor company. Hmm. That has to come from that company. Does that make sense, Jeff? Yeah. And so <laughs> when we're building our own cans, uh, we've also worked through that to replicate. So we're taking as much of the equation of the gassing out of it. Sure. Yeah, eliminate some variables and, yeah. and you can engineer a solution that's gonna be more reliable. Yeah, absolutely. That and it fits in a backpack. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 been quite an interesting ride. So we're continuing to develop in some of the new stuff that we're coming out with. Is we've got the prototypes done for nine, nine nice. mil. Yeah. Uh, we're also coming out with uh, precision ammo line, 308, 65 Creed more. We'll get into some of the bigger cows later on, but the development has nice. to happen on that still. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, well, this yeah. is exciting. I can't wait to get my hands on a uh, review sample. So what we're going to do is uh, we, we heard a lot of great things about uh, how it's going to function and how it was designed. We're going to put it to the test. Um, it, it may take a month or two to get one and then a little time to test it. So in the next few months, keep an eye out. We'll post some teasers when we get it. We'll post results as we give it a workout. I'll tell you, I'm excited. I hope you are too. Please leave any questions you have about this particular firearm, anything you want us to check out when we start that review process. You know what, I'm not gonna try to answer them. We'll pass them on to the experts and get yeah, the right answer yeah, for you. Yeah, absolutely, and, and feel free if you guys have questions about what we're doing or, or certain you know sections of the company, go ahead and email us at info at maximdefense.com and somebody from the team will get back with you as quickly as we can. All right. Until next time, we'll see you at the range. Thanks. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range.